everyone, welcome back to another dodgeball video. Today we'll be covering five exercises that help improve your grip strength. If you haven't been on my channel before, maybe you missed it, I did another grip strength video. Um, I'll link it in the description in case you wanna see those exercises as well. Um, grip strength in dodgeball is super important because with foam throwing, you wanna build up that wrist snap and flick so you get a nice movement on the ball. It also, by having a strong grip, helps support your elbow and takes a lot of pressure off your elbow. And then of course with balls like 8.5 and cloth that are already hard to hold in the first place, having a strong grip will help you grip those balls and throw them in the first place. So let's jump right into it. This first exercise, you're going to need, need a very light dumbbell. In this case, I'm using a five pound dumbbell. We're gonna be doing a wrist extension. So you need uh, something to rest your, your wrist on or your arm on. So I'm using this bench. I'm kind of leaning back. If you can find something where you're even with it, um, like this, it, it's better, but I don't really have that right now. So we're doing it like this. Um, you're going to start at a uh, flat, and then you're going to um, flex your wrist up. Just like that. The second exercise is one of my favorite variations of a bicep curl. It's called a Zotomin curl. You're gonna need two dumbbells. Today I'm using two 20 pound dumbbells. This not only works on your biceps, but it's also going to work on your forearms and your wrists as well. So you're gonna start out doing a normal bicep curl. And when you get to the top of the curl, you're going to rotate the dumbbells and you're gonna come down slow and controlled. So the down part is what's working your forearms. The up part is working your biceps. You want to keep your elbows pinned to your sides. You don't want to be swinging up and going down. You want to keep this nice and controlled. Just like that. So this third exercise is called a dead hang. And you're just simply holding onto the bar as long as you can. I'll usually do three sets to failure at the end of my workout as a great finisher. Um, I'm going to be doing it at a jungle gym at our park. But if you have a pull up bar at your gym, you can just hang on to that. And the whole idea is you push through the pain, see how long you can hold on to, and it's really going to improve your forearm strength and your wrist strength. exercise I like to call a side press if you have a kettlebell this works even great with a kettlebell because it has that heavier bottom but I don't have a light enough kettlebell to do this with so I'm doing it with a 12 pound dumbbell so you're gonna want to lay on your side with your forearm on the ground you're gonna rest your elbow on your hip bone and you're going to then push your arm out and that's where the grip strength is gonna come in right there again slow and controlled just like that. So last but certainly not least, this next exercise is called a wrist flexion. It's, it's actually gonna be very similar to the first exercise I did. It's literally just the opposite. You need a five pound dumbbell and you're essentially going to be, instead of moving your wrist up and flexing and extending it, you're going to be flexing it from the thumb up. I hope you guys found these five exercises really helpful. Again, I'm gonna link the other grip strength video in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It helps get Dodgeball in front of more people's faces and that's really my ultimate goal with this channel. And of course, as always, drop a comment with any other Dodgeball topics you'd like me to cover and I'll see you guys next week.